The Mage's speed boost, Blazing Speed, is one of the few speed increases in the game that will let you run faster while walking backwards. Usually, no matter what speed increase you use, you walk at two-thirds normal run speed while walking backwards. But with Blazing Speed, you can run at 160% movement speed while backpedaling. Now, this isn't the full speed increase from Blazing Speed, and is still slowed down somewhat, but any speed increase at all while walking backwards is highly unusual. Just take a look at my Hunter on screen. I have an add-on which tells in real time what speed my character is moving. Walking backwards, he's going at 64% movement speed. Once I pop his rocket boots and start walking backwards, he's still moving at 64% move speed. Same thing if I pop his aspect of the cheetah. The in-game mechanics just ignore movement speed increases while walking backwards, and will slow you down. And that's the same for pretty much all other speed increases. Now let's take a look at my Baladin. She's got a speed increase that will increase her speed by 100% for 3 seconds. Sims with my Hunter, using it while going backwards yields no speed increase, and the same 64% movement slow down like normal. Now let's pop the Pally's Blessing of Freedom, which makes her immune to movement slows and use Divine Steed while going backwards again. You'll notice that it's still the same 64% slow. To take it even further, I'll hop on my Shaman and use Ghost Wolf. Ghost Wolf increases your movement speed while suppressing slows just like Blazing Speed. And would you look at it, he too is going the normal 64% speed while backpedaling. So, why is Blazing Speed different? Blazing Speed's effect reads, while under the effect of Blazing Speed, Movement slowing effects are suppressed, and your movement speed is increased by 150%. Hand of Freedom states that you're immune to slows while it's active, and Ghost Wolf simply states that you're less hindered by movement impairing effects. Essentially, they're all supposed to do the same thing, make you not be slowed by snares, but they all go about it a little differently, and Blazing Speed is just coded to work on backpedaling as well which is normally not counted as a snare, and is instead a basic game mechanic. As far as I know, there are no other abilities that increase your move speed while running backwards, making Blazing Speed unique in that regard. But that's not all, since Blazing Speed is able to suppress move speed reducers of all kinds, even ones imposed by basic game mechanics, it allows you to run at its normal high speed if used while dazed by a mob. The days mobs give you from hitting you from behind is technically a slow, and should be removed by normal movement immunity abilities, but days is exempt from nearly all of them for some reason. To use the Paladin as an example again, if a Pally uses its Hand of Freedom while dazed, they will still run at 50% movement speed. Using your Pally Bubble, however, will remove the days effect, but the ability removes pretty much everything and is an exception in of itself. But Blazing Speed not only suppresses the Days effect, it also still gives you the movement speed buff while under the Days. Blazing Speed just breaks all the rules when it comes to speed buffs. That's probably why it was nerfed so hard in Legion. Before Legion, it was an ability you could just cast, but for a very short time, like less than two seconds short. But now it only activates when Cauterize is activated. Cauterize is a cheat death spell that prevents a fatal attack and instead will bring your health to 35%, but then burn you for 28% of your health as damage over the next 6 seconds. And during this 6 seconds is when Blazing Speed is activated now. And most mages just ice block to get rid of the dot from Cauterize anyway, making it very situational. So technically, this super amazing best speed increase in the game is still in the game, it's just you have to nearly die in order to use it. Now, as to why you'd want to run faster backwards, well, you probably wouldn't. Uh, that's why this isn't a Warcraft mini facts video, because it's kinda useless information to know, and wouldn't really fit in normally with any of my other kinds of videos.